Hey, bonjour, this is Emma at Words and Peace and Friends Book Tools. Believe it or not, this is actually already video 14. I didn't think I would be able to do that many, but you see, I'm very slowly improving from one to the next. Uh, now I think I managed to look at you in the eyes much more often. And uh, if you've seen my last video a few days ago, today I'm going to try to show you much less the top of my head. <laughs> Okay, so let's try. At the end of uh, the previous video on uh, the book by Pierre Lemaitre, Blood Wedding, I mentioned to you I was going to present another book. I received that book, Explore America, by an author I enjoy very, very much. But this book was extremely disappointing for me. I have to say, when I really enjoy a, an author, I try then to jump into their new book without reading any synopsis, without reading any review. And apparently that was a big mistake for this one. If I had read the synopsis, I would probably not even have accepted this book at Book Expo America, because in the synopsis you've got words like family, children, dissolution of marriage, affairs, generations, all types of stuff that I really don't enjoy much in a book. Plus, uh, I have to say, I didn't think that this book was really well written and I found it boring. Um, usually when I read a book, I take a lot of notes and after a few chapters, I just stopped taking notes because I really didn't even find it interesting. Plus, it's rather complicated. There's a lot of back and forth in time without really different uh, parts or whatever. So suddenly you have to think, oh, this is actually a flashback and with different generations and different families because you've got the steps, children and step parents. And this is, yeah, this is complicated. I really didn't see much of the, you know, line in the story. It was more for me like a patchwork and there were way too many characters as well. At one point, there's even a book within a book, which usually I enjoy very much. You've got a character in the book who writes a book entitled Commonwealth. But even this, I didn't think it was well done at all. So you may wonder, did I, is there really anything good in this book? Well, you know, this is all personal. You may enjoy things with families and children, then I guess it will be very interesting for you. Uh, if you enjoy, you know, um, kind of saga type along several generations though. There was one passage I enjoyed. It was when one of the characters go to Switzerland, spend some time in a Zen center. And I thought the descriptions were, were really cool, but that's about it. And when I tell you that it's really not that greatly written, I'm going to read you the example of one paragraph, which is page 313. Okay, let's discover this passage and let me know what you think. Franny went back upstairs and did one full loop around the room, but there were so few people she remembered. She had not lived in Arlington since she had left for college. The wives of Jack Dine's three sons all wanted to talk to her, but none of them particularly wanted to talk to one another. The wife of the son she liked the most was the wife she liked the least and the wife of the son she liked the least was the wife she greatly preferred. What was interesting though, not that any of it was interesting at all, was that the wife of the son she had the hardest time remembering was also the wife she had the hardest time remembering. Seriously? <laughs> you know, Anne Paget has really made us accustomed to read really fantastic writing, but I really did not find it in this one. So that's the end of my ranting for today. And I assume several of you have already read it because it was published on September 13. Plus many of you got it at Book Expo America and you probably jumped right into it. Um, so I would be really curious to know what you thought about this book and what did I miss? And what was so greatly written about it? Okay. So please leave a comment um, below the video and um, we'll try to dialogue from there. Okay, so au revoir et à bientôt for another uh, more exciting book, I hope.